camper that's firefighter Lisa. Did you know one of the coolest things about being a firefighter is driving or riding on the fire truck? Fire trucks come, come in all different shapes, sizes, and even colors. There are fire boats, helicopters, and planes even. No matter what the vehicle is though, they're all there to fight fires. You may even have seen them come through your neighborhood before. You always know when they're going to an emergency because they have their lights and sirens on. If you ever hear or see the fire truck coming, stay away from the street and wait for them to pass by. Let's go visit the fire station with firefighter Nick and learn a little bit more about his fire engine. Hi, I'm firefighter Nick DeVito with Loudoun County Fire and Rescue. We're sitting outside fire station 9 right now and we're about to take a look at the fire engine. Come on, let's go take a look. Let's take a look where the driver sits. The driver's responsibility is to get to and from the emergency in a safe manner. The driver's seat comes with a steering wheel, a gas pedal, and a brake, just like a normal car. It has lots of buttons that control the sirens and lights. Behind the driver is where the firefighters sit. We carry lots of tools and equipment in the back here. The firefighter always carries his, radio, his or her radio. The radios don't act like our walkie talkies. We're able to talk to each other when we're far apart. We also carry medical equipment on the fire engines. The medical equipment bag has band-aids and medicine for sick and injured people. Also in the back, are our air packs. Our air packs allow us to breathe clean air when we're in the, in the middle of a fire. Sometimes firefighters respond to emergencies at night. For that, we carry flashlights. These are just some of the tools we keep in back of the fire truck. This is our pump panel. This is where we control the water coming in to the fire truck from a fire hydrant and going out of the fire truck from hoses such as this. The fire engine is a big toolbox. Let's take a look at some of these tools. This is called the thermal imaging camera, or as we call it, a tick. The thermal imaging camera allows firefighters to see objects and people in the dark and in smoky rooms. Oftentimes, firefighters use tools called hooks. This is what a hook looks like. Sometimes fire hides in ceilings. Oftentimes, firefighters have to go through the ceiling with a hook and pull the ceiling down in order to find the fire and extinguish it. Next, we'll go to the irons. The irons are a group of tools consisting of an axe and a halogen bar. The axe allows us to chop new objects, and the halogen bar allows us to open up objects. And of course, all fire engines carry fire extinguishers. For smaller fires, Firefighters will put out the fire with this fire extinguisher. These are just some of the tools firefighters use on a daily basis here in Loudoun County. As we make our way back to the fire engine, we have a lot more hose. Each hose is a varying size and length. There's over five football fields worth of hose back here. Well, that's our fire engine. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch. Go so on! That was great, Firefighter Nick! Thanks! Well, campers, if you want to learn more about the fire trucks, you can always visit your local fire station. That's all we have for you for now. Talk to you soon!